an absolute fool could shoot on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. An imbecile. It's not even professional. <sighs> Why would you shoot on that camera? Well, I actually shoot on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and I think that it's changed my life for the better. But first, let's admire this absolutely beautiful day outside. Do you need a hand, mate? <laughs> Do you need a hand? No, oh good, okay cool. Thank you. <laughs> See this one is light. Oh, it's light, okay, sorry. I was in the middle of a take, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But first, let's admire the beautiful sunny day outside. And for those budding filmmakers who know about Foley, I'm wearing these keys. It's really looking nothing like my yesterday. So, uh, here's a little story about my yesterday. I got rained on. I was on the way to the city in the morning. It was cold, it was wet, and I was wearing this wool jacket. And wool has a tendency to smell a little bit when it's wet. And I wore this jacket because I really wanted to get the look and feel right for the day. I had to go undercover and decide what to do next. Wow, today is so much better. So much better, I feel so much better. Yeah, yesterday was just one of those days. I ended up sitting in the park for an hour, contemplating, completely demotivated. I decided to just try and film something, anything. I had a 10 minute pocket of time to film when the sun came out. I'll show that at the end of this video. And despite being cold and demotivated, that quick setup time makes a big difference when filming. Tripod. One of the things I love about the OP3 is the quick setup time. Now, if I want to shoot something, if I see something that inspires me, it's got a one second setup time. That's insanity. Like, I don't think I've ever had a camera where I can just turn it on within one second so I don't miss a moment. You see? Magnetic. Oh, there you go. Got it off. But it goes to show, like, you can really just be creative of a flashback. Before 2020, I was once a prolific film director, but uh, 2020 to 2022 wiped me out completely. I was completely uh, just knocked about and to be honest, even picking up the camera hurt. Like, it was agonizing just to think of creativity for a period of time in my life. I mean, the short setup time is what's absolutely amazing. Like, <clears throat> these vintage lenses that I used to use, like the Takina, this is heavy, it's a heavy lens. And uh, here we go, it's so, I mean, this is, you can see the dust on this lens, it's <laughs> so dusty. To be honest, back in the day, it was my lazy budget way of uh, basically not having a snow mist filter or a mist filter. But one of the cinematic techniques that I use is a dirty lens. I don't clean the lens, I rarely clean it for this reason. I'm literally gonna have to wipe that up before I shoot the rest of this episode. No, <coughs> oh, it's dusty. I mean, I used to lug this heavy gimbal everywhere, this one here, and on top of that gimbal, I would do everything on this with that, with the combined weight. Compared to other film kits, this isn't that big, but it's really hard when you're lugging things around all day still. I mean, compared to other people, I know it's considered light. When I'm out there lugging that heavy camera around with the gear, the gimbal, other lenses, heavier tripod, and it rains, like you really feel it. Or you're also fighting against the elements, but with this camera, it's like very quick and easy and Okay, it's, it's not that heavy, but <laughs> you know. Despite feeling sad, I was still able to film. Even that 10 minute pocket of time, I was able to still get something. And even as a person used to shooting on vintage lenses, manual focus, heavier setups, this makes me want to film. It wasn't until I got home and actually looked at the footage, I realized that it wasn't even that bad. So, roll footage. And at the park, it occurred to me that there's a time and place for everything. 
I'm grateful for every camera that I've ever owned, despite the weight I carried it. It allowed me to chase a dream, but I just want to live in the sunlight every single day, but in reality that's just not how it goes. That tiny window before the sun went behind a cloud and the colour was drained from the frame. But a life where you get to dream and at least live in that, even if it's for a small moment of time, is better than a life where you don't dream at all.